Thanks, Chris. Well, it's always been a goal of the Nexus program to provide you with the best of Google experience, access to the latest software coupled with an Android experience the way that Google envisions it. We wanted to take that model one step further. We wanted to design a best of Google experience that is optimized around all this great content available in Google Play. We wanted a device that lets you immerse yourself in all of that media. We wanted you to be delighted when you read books, magazines, watch movies, and play games. So we partnered with a great company, Asus, to help us build just that device. And, and today, we're introducing Nexus 7. It's a beautiful 7-inch tablet. It's built, thank you. It's built for Google Play. It's running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. And here it is, Nexus 7. And by the way, we're really pleased to have uh, Johnny Shi, the chairman of ASUS, uh, here in the audience today. Johnny, please stand up. Thank you. So let me tell you a bit about Nexus 7. It's super thin, light, and portable, and yet we've managed to pack a lot into this device. First of all, the display. 1280 by 800 HD display, which is perfect for reading and watching videos in stunning clarity. Performance. Tegra 3 chipset with a quad-core CPU and... <laughs> Wait, there's more. So Tegra 3 chipset with a quad-core CPU and a 12-core GPU. That's basically 16 cores, which makes, which makes everything, including games, extremely fast and smooth. Front-facing camera, perfect for Google Plus Hangouts and video chatting. All the connectivity options you'd expect, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC. Gyroscope and accelerometer, essential for high-performance gaming. And battery, up to nine hours of video playback and up to 300 hours standby time. And best of all, it's only 340 grams, just about the weight of an average paper book. It fits perfectly in one hand. You can put it in a purse or bag. It doesn't tip over when you're reading or watching a movie in bed. It just feels right. That's Nexus 7. Music. Music, movies, books, magazines, apps, and games. All the great content from Google Play right at your fingertips. Now, to show you Nexus 7 in action, here's Chris Yerga once again. Thanks, Hugo. We designed the Nexus 7 experience with three goals in mind. Create the best possible Google Play experience, make all your favorite Google apps work beautifully, and support the next generation of apps and games. Nexus 7 is made for Google Play. When you power it on, your content is front and center. Right here on the home screen is my library, containing the content I've recently been reading, listening to, or watching on any of my devices. So earlier, I was reading uh, The Born Dominion on my phone. So we can tap on the cover there and uh, pick up exactly where I left off on that other device. Nexus 7 is an ideal device for reading books. The form factor and the weight are just right. Uh, it has the portability of a paperback backed by a cloud-powered personal library of books. Now I'd like to show you the magazine experience on Nexus 7. Here's the uh, new Google Play Magazines app. And just like your coffee table, uh, the newest stuff is on top. You can swipe through and find something that's interesting to read. Why don't we uh, go ahead and uh, Esquire. And, um, if I, uh, once, once I bring it up, um, I can tap on it and bring up a list of page thumbnails on the bottom to kind of quickly swipe through, find an article that I'm interested in reading. So yeah, that one looks good. And uh, once we open it up, you look at the content, it just looks beautiful on Nexus 7. 
But if I want to focus maybe on something that's a little bit more of a pure reading experience, I can tap on the, the view text link and get the contents of the article in a form that's optimized for that. Still looks beautiful on Google Chrome. From here, I can also navigate and bring up a table of contents and quickly pull up any other article. So now let's uh, look at some interactive features. Uh, so why don't we uh, go to Shape Magazine. And here from the cover, since this is an interactive title, um, I can uh, tap on any of the uh, interesting articles there and uh, get to, uh, I think he wants to work on his abs, so he's going to pick the flat abs. Um, so we've gone beyond print replica here and added interactive elements to custom fit the text to the device, keeping everything readable without impacting the design. Uh, Randall can drag up to expand the content right here on the page and even tap on the link to jump into an exercise routine and get further details on those all-important ab exercises that Randall likes to do, all without leaving the page. So that's our premium magazine reading experience on Google Play. Uh, Nexus 7 is also ideal for watching movies and TV wherever you are. Uh, long plane rides, road trips with the family, or just uh, sitting at home watching on the sofa. So let's open the Google Play Movies and TV app. And uh, here you see uh, all of your movies. We can swipe over to see uh, TV shows, and you can get to your personal videos as well. Uh, so why don't we pick something? Uh, astute observers will note that I'm a Parks and Recreation fan. So why don't we tap on uh, episode one there and start watching some TV? Who are the suits? They want me to run for office. Oh my god, Leslie, yay! I know, right? Yay! 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 yay. Wait, what does that mean about you and Ben? I don't know. I think it's gonna be really bad. Uh-oh. Do you wanna go back to saying yay? Yes, please. Yay! Yay! yay. <laughs> Video looks stunning no, on Nexus 7. You can see the individual hairs on Ron Swanson's mustache. So uh, in here, you have access to the movies and episodes you purchased and links to the store for other episodes of the, the season. Uh, and you can, of course, also download your TV shows for offline use if you're going to be somewhere uh, without Wi-Fi, like on a plane. So that's finding content I already have. But what about discovering new content? With Nexus 7, we're introducing a powerful new recommendations engine for discovering content that's relevant to you. We present this information on beautiful and dynamic widgets on your home screen. Uh, here you can see that we've uh, set ours up for recommendations for apps, books, and movies, but you can customize it to show the content you're most interested in. And if you don't like a particular recommendation, just dismiss it and you'll get another. These widgets are intelligent, and they'll get smarter and more accurate the more you use them. Now, sometimes new content finds you. Maybe you hear a song you like on the radio or TV, but you don't exactly know what it is. We've added a What's This Song widget. Uh, you just tap on it, and it will identify the music playing and give you a link to the Play Store so you can buy it instantly. So the device is beautiful, but let's go back to the slides for a second. Uh, Nexus 7 is the perfect device to use all the Google applications you already know and love. Gmail on Nexus 7. It's a perfect size to read and respond to your emails. Chrome. Your favorite websites look beautiful on the HD display. And this is the first device that ships with Chrome as the standard browser. Uh, let's go back to the device and take a look at some of those apps. Uh, why don't we start with YouTube? Um, so the new YouTube app has a great tablet-optimized design. Uh, you got your channel feed uh, here on the left, and you can just uh, swipe over. Uh, why don't we uh, pick something here to watch and get some video going? You've got high-def YouTube right in the palm of your hand. It's the YouTube that you already know and love, but optimized for Nexus 7. Now, in addition to exploring a huge amount of videos online, you can also explore the world around you. So let's take a look at Google Maps. Now, in Google Maps, you can find your way around with the features you are already familiar with, like turn-by-turn -turn navigation, public transit, live traffic, and street view. But what about getting to know a place before you get there? Uh, I heard about a local bar called District, so let's go check it out. Um, we can tap here and get all this great information uh, about the restaurant, including Zagat reviews from Google Plus Local. And I can also scroll down and tap on See Inside. 
Once I do, uh, I'm inside the bar, I've got this nice view, and for an even better experience, I can turn on compass mode. So why don't you go ahead and do that, Randall? Now we've had this feature for a little while, but what we've done in the latest version is hook it up to the gyroscope, which makes it incredibly smooth and fast and very responsive. Um, it's just like being there. Now, as we announced, we're also adding support for offline maps, so you can save the data for an entire city locally on the device and be able to use maps without a data connection. Simply tap on the menu. It's as easy as bringing up the menu and tapping Make Available Offline, and you're good to go. Um, so those features are all in the latest version of Google Maps shipping with Nexus 7. Now I want to talk to you about Google Currents. Currents brings you all the great content that the web has to offer in a mobile magazine format that looks incredible on Nexus 7. Um, my morning routines, I open up Currents first thing in the morning every day to check out the news. Um, Subscribe to a number of feeds. You have trending stories here around the top. Um, but why don't we tap into the Daily Beast and uh, take a look at what articles are there. So here we have a list of recent articles we can swipe through and read uh, in a reading mode that's actually um, built on the same technology that the magazine's web view is, so it has that same beautiful look. Um, and you can see the content here is pulled straight from the web and beautifully formatted for Nexus 7. Now, behind all of this great content is the power of Google. So what we've done is we baked Google Translate right into Currents. So we can go to the menu, and I can translate everything into another language. And within a few seconds of doing that, um, Randall, I believe, picked Arabic. So we're going to see this entire edition translated into Arabic. <laughs> Currents is another Google app that works great on Nexus 7. With its quad-core CPU, gyroscope, and accelerometer, Nexus 7 is a serious gaming device. We'll start with the game Horn from Phosphor, Phosphor Games in Chicago. Horn is an epic adventure set in a richly detailed world with the kind of environment never before seen on a mobile device. You've got lens flares, environmental effects, and even individually rendered leaves on the trees. Uh, so as uh, Randall takes the express elevator down here, um, we can see that uh, in addition to the, the graphics looking beautiful, the animation is very fluid and it just controls beautifully. This is the kind of experience that until recently uh, you would have not have been able to see anywhere out of a dedicated gaming console. So Horn is really putting uh, all those uh, 12 GPU cores to work, but um, of course, not everything in Horn is shiny and beautiful. there. We don't want to ruin the surprise, but uh, it ends badly. <laughs> so going from alive to dead, uh, we're going to uh, take a look at Dead Trigger from Madfinger Games. Uh, they're a developer uh, located in Prague. Now, well, for some games, all right, I've got my Prague over here, nice. Uh, uh, guns and zombies would be enough of a selling point. But Dead Trigger uh, uses the computational power of the Nexus 7 to create everything from, you see these water droplets that are refracting and, and sort of going down here on the lens. Uh, you got realistic fogs, uh, and of course, lots and lots of blood. All right. And he was supposed to do a headshot there, and he did it. Give it up for Randall. Nice job. Who says mobile gaming has to be casual? <laughs> so now that you've seen everything Nexus 7 can do, uh, Hugo, I think we all have one remaining question, which is, how can I get one? Thanks, Chris. That was awesome. So um, Nex Nexus 7, um, built to bring you the best of Google in a super thin, light, and portable device that's optimized for Google Play. It's a fantastic device that we want to get into the hands of as many people as we can. 
That's why starting today, we're making Nexus 7 available, starting at only $199. And, when you buy your Nexus 7, we'll also give you a $25 credit to spend in the Google Play Store, as well as some great content to build out your library. You'll get the Transformers Dark of the Moon movie from our friends at Paramount Pictures, the book The Born Dominion, and free magazine issues of Popular Science, Food Network, Condé Nast Traveler, and others. Starting today, you can order Nexus 7 directly from Google Play, with orders shipping in mid-July. It's available in the US, Canada, the UK, and Australia, with more countries to follow.